OK, so we're told in a junior football match it may be assumed the number of goals scored in any interval of length t minutes has a Poisson distribution with mean 0.1t. So it says without the use of tables, find the probability that the number of goals scored in the first minutes of 15 minutes of play is a 2 or b more than 2. OK, so for the start of any distribution question, like, like, like binomial or Poisson, we should start by actually stating that we have a random variable x or, or actually stating the distribution. So if, let's say, if x equals the number of goals, then we can say that x is distribution distributed with Poisson distribution 0.1 t, which is 0.1 times 15. So x is distributed with a Poisson distribution with mean of 1.5. Okay, so now we can think, consider, now we've stated what the distribution actually is, we can consider stating, actually calculating the probability for the number of goals being two or more than two. Now notice it says, it's in big bold letters, without the use of the table. So you are going to have to show that you can use the formula here. Okay, so remember that the probability x is equal to x and this can be found on your Poisson distribution tables and should be in your statistical formula. This is equal to e to the minus lambda times lambda to the power of x all over x factorial. So I mean it's not a difficult formula necessary to work with. Uh, you just have to going to be used to using this formula. So part a we want to find the probability x is equal to 2. This is a nice straightforward one because literally we are going to substitute the value of lambda, which is 1.5, and the value of x, which is 2, into this formula and calculate it. So I'm going to get e to the minus 1.5 because that is lambda times lambda, which is 1.5, to the power of x, which is 2 in this situation, all over 2 factorial. Okay, so that's our x factorial. When we put this into the calculator, again, you can have to enter this in all in one go. What we're going to get is an answer of 0 0.251 when we round it to three decimal places. And just remember to state your rounding because, of course, this is a rational number. It goes on and on and on and on. And so you just need to state that you are rounding it. OK, so how do I get marks on this question? Well, actually, outside of the question for the start of it, we get a statement mark for actually just setting up your Poisson distribution and stating correctly how it is, okay? So showing actually that we're going to take x as the number of goals and that the Poisson distribution has a mean of 1.5. So you get statement marks for that, for that very start question, okay? Next, in actual part A, in the actual kind of solving the problem itself, you are going to get one method mark for showing the use of the formula. If you do not show how you substitute it into the formula, you will lose that mark. Okay, and then we get one accuracy mark for a correctly rounded answer with the state statement of how accurate, how um, in decimal places you've rounded it to. Okay, so let's have a look at part B. Part B is the probability that it's more than two. Now the problem with the Poisson distribution is that it can go on infinitely. I mean, realistically, you're not going to score an infinite amount of goals in 15 minutes. There's only limited time, but you, there is no limit. We can't say we limit it to 100 or 200 or 300. So what we're going to do, the probability that x is greater than 2, just like when we use the tables for binomial and Poisson, if it's greater than, what we're going to do is we are going to say 1 minus the probability that x is, now it's going to be strictly, or it's going to be actually less than or equal to 2. So what we're saying is that this can be 3 or more, so that means it's going to be 1 minus the probability x is less than or equal to 2. So using the formula, because again this is about tables, what we're going to have to do is we're going to have to do probability, uh, uh, 1 minus the probability x equals to 0, plus the probability x is equal to 1, plus the probability x is equal to 2. Okay, now I've already got the probability that x is equal to 2, so what I need to do just quickly is find the probability that x is equal to 0, 
This is a nice straightforward one because we're going to get e to the power of minus 1.5 times 1.5 to the power of 0 over 0 factorial. So anything to the power of 0 is 1, 0 factorial is 1, so this just gives us e to the power of minus 1.5. Then do the same for probability x equals 1. So again, he's going to come out with a very straightforward uh, one for this one. So the first two cases are always very, really simple to work out. So again, we've got e to the power of minus lambda, which is 1.5, times lambda, which is 1.5 to the power of 1, all over 1 factorial. 1 factorial is, is of course, 1 factorial. So when I expand this 1.5 to the power of 1, what we're going to get here is 1.5 e to the power of minus 1. Point 0.5. Okay, so now we can just calculate probability x is greater than 2 will be 1 minus e to the power of minus 1.5 plus 1.5 e to the power of minus 1.5. And I didn't do a simplified version of this up here, but what I will do is I'll just write that whole thing out. Or we can write out the 0 0.251 if you want to instead, just for simplicity's sake. So actually, we're getting this series here. I mean, there are other ways to do it. You can factorise this out, but I mean, breaking it down into individual probabilities is a nice, straightforward way to do it. So once I've written out that, that calculation to demonstrate my working, when you work it through, when you calculate that on your calculator, and again, it can be all done in one go, we're going to get an answer of 0 0.191, and again, that is rounded to three decimal places and just remember to state your rounding. Okay, so how do I get my marks on this question? Well actually all of this contributes to marks on this question but really what we're looking for is this, or perhaps it's all this line here rather than just that little bit there. We're looking for this entire line where we're going to do 1 minus. Now you may have calculated the actual numerical probability for this and numerical probability for this. But this is going to be a method mark, so one method mark and one accuracy mark. Whether you've done it like I have in terms of E, or whether you've given it this numerical values along here. Okay, so that's your method mark and accuracy mark. And then finally, you're going to get your accuracy mark for a final answer. Again, with the rounding stated to show how you have uh, approximated that solution. Okay, hope that all made sense and that you understood it.